What's up, YouTube? Welcome back, Troll Looters. Today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Day. I've got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector Box here. I like the previous one that had the PSA card in it. Um, they don't have those anymore. I might have some back behind me, but I did pick up the Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector Box. It's similar to it in a lot of ways. It doesn't have the Player's Mat and all that kind of stuff, but it does have six packs and uh, a uh, promo card, if you would. So let's open up the Yu-Gi-Oh! box and see what we have inside. Um, let's get into it. This is the Dark Magician box. Uh, as most of you know who are Yu-Gi-Oh! fans, Dark Magician is the kind of player of choice for Mr. Yu-Gi. Kind of learned a little bit more about it. I've been playing on my iPad a little more, so I'm getting the, the feel for... Yu-Gi-Oh! Battles and so on and so forth. It doesn't seem that complicated. Um, so some people might like that, some people may not. Uh, but it does seem like a pretty cool game to play. If you haven't played it, I suggest you pick up one of these that came with it. A starter deck. These are on sale pretty drastically. It's like 25% off. You can get these in mo most retailers. And it's going to come with items like this the dark magician uh basically a set pack for spell cards trap cards monster cards once you know how to do spell cards trap cards and you have some really good monster cards you'll find a pretty good uh battle with your friends go down to your local card shop there are plenty of people i assure you playing down there uh see what days they're playing uh, Yu Gi Oh. so what comes out of this you saw the the um the starter pack You've got this huge giant card, kind of like they do in Pokemon, Dark Magician, uh, 2500 attack, 2100 defense, that's his, his normal stuff. So there's his big giant card, let's set that aside somewhere so it doesn't get messed up. And here is his foil card, Dark Magician. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense so pretty important card um, I don't think this is necessarily a rare card I, I think this is uh, pretty used pretty heavily um, just because of what it is but tell me if I'm wrong below so what do we have we have duelist packs Yubi and Kaiba packs three of each so let's do Yugi last since you know, it all rotates around him anyway. So what do we got? We got some... Boom. Lord of D. His attack is 1,200. 1,100 defense. Ring of defense spell card. When a trap effect and fix damage, uh, activate and make that effect damage zero. So it's like a cancel. Hirotsu Mi Giant. Beast, 1,200 attack, 100, or 1,000 defense, and Ancient Lamp, 900 and 1,400. Next up, this should go fairly quickly. We only have like six packs, and they're not large packs. Uh, and we got Magic Reflector. Target one face-up card, place a counter on it, destroyed, remove the counter instead. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Banish the target until the end of phase. That's pretty cool. And Sword Stalker, a monster formed by the vengeful souls of those who passed away in battle. 2,000 attack with 1,600 defense. Pretty formidable warrior there. Oh, got another one, sorry. Enraged Battle Ox. 1,700 attack. And Kaiser Glider is the rare there. It has 2,400 attack, 2,200 defense. That is a pretty good card. Dragon effect. So that's a dragon. And X Head Cannon. Enraged Battle Ox again. Interdimensional Matter Transporter again. White Dragon Ritual. Used to used to ritual Paladins of White Dragon. 
Must also tribute monster from your hand of field totaling four or more. And the rare there is Kaiser Seahorse. Kaiser Seahorse. Sea Serpent effect. Uh, this card can be, can be treated as two tributes. That's pretty cool. One card for two. And so let's get into the Yugi pack. And we've got this cute little guy, Caribou. During your opponent's turn, all damage calculations, you can discard this card. You take no battle damage from the battle. Quick effect. So, Yellow Gadget, Machine Effect, Buster Blader, 2600, Stronghold the Moving Fortress, the Trap Guard. What does this trap card do? Effect a monster. This card is also still a trap card. While you control a green gadget, red gadget, and yellow gadget, this card gains 3,000 attack. Wow. And the rare there is Black Luster Soldier. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense. You, you can ritual summon this card with Black Luster Ritual. Very cool. Two more packs left, then we're done. Try to keep this under 10 minutes today. And Catapult Turtle. Brain Control. Pay eight, 800 life points. Then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Take control of that target until end of phase. Ooh, I don't know about that. King's Knight. 1600 attack, 1400. You can summon one Jack's Knight from your deck. So, an additional card. Look at that pretty card. Polymerization. Oop, so sorry. Fell out of my hand. Polymerization. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Using monsters from your hand on your side of the field. Has fusion materials. A little close up of that. Pretty cool. And the rare, as you saw, was Magic Hats. It's a trap card. Does a lot. You can read it there. I don't want to read all of it for you. Get to the last pack. And what do we got? We got Sword of Revealing Lights. Spell card. Light Force Sword. Red Gadget. So goes back with the yellow gadget. Jack's Knight. 1900 Attack. And Marshmallon. Marshmallon is a fairy effect. After damage calculated, this card was attacked and was face down at the start of the damage step. The attack player takes 1,000 damage. Cannot be destroyed by battle. Interesting. So that's it today for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Again, here's your sweet Dark Magician card. The promo card for it. Those are pretty cool cards. Again, I think it was roughly $20 for that box. Pretty interesting, cool stuff came out of it. We got some rares. We got Ixalan coming up uh, also, so we'll get into that video um, for the... My mind just went blank. For the Magic, Magic the Gathering. So, hope you had fun today. Have a great week.